All right then, guys. I've actually got two box openings today. Uh, it's a long time since my last video because I've been absolutely let down so many times. But this time, I will tell you later on about the ones that have pissed me off. But these, I've ordered a tailor and I've also ordered uh, another Martin, a D20, a 20 Look at this, this should be the tail of it. And this is off a new seller who well, I found. And it has been absolutely brilliant with me. KSG seller they called. And uh, all the pictures. Hey, the packaging. Oh no, sorry, this is me Martin. I've got the wrong ones, this is me Martin guys. I asked them not to put the pit guards on these in case I didn't like them, but they have sent them. As you can see, the pit guards are gone. So let's get it open. It all looks right. I love these pit guards, I love this bit. Coloured up the bloody emblem again, <laughs> which I'm going to have to get off, but I will. The logo is not emblem. Oh, no. This is an old 28, and it looks fantastic. It really does look nice, that. And it's all wood. If you don't put it, I've got to take them off, guys, because that'll be stamped in there. If you can see, I've got to take them little pieces off because it'll be stamped, which I'll show you later. But the quality of the wood is beautiful. It still gets me, guys, how they do it for the money they do it. But that, to me, looks absolutely beautiful with my Grover tuners. And that looks fantastic really does obviously i've got to take this off so you can see the logo oh hold on it might come off easier this one hold on if i can get the fucking thing out no i'll have to get that off later guys because <laughs> but that is beautiful obviously not in tune but that is lovely, that guy's. Not a mark on it. It really is nice. I think I've paid this for this, I think. I think it's 260 something. The signature's nice. Right then, guys. I shall get back to you later. I think I'm going to just tune the action. The action is superb on that. Can you get on that, Jordan? The action. No, oh, tell me. That's the action there. I don't even think I'm enough to set, reset it. So it's a matter of getting that off. I'll get the I'll get the black off, and I'll uh, tune it up, and we'll see where we go from there. Right, guys. Before I get onto my guitar, I'm just going to get my salt box. These two sellers don't go nowhere near them. Don't touch them with a barge ball. And they are Jug Guitars, and I think they're called Ailey Needle. It's A L Y N E E L A O One. They both took the piss. I've been waiting two months for these guitars. I ended up just getting refunds, and it's totally wasted my time. But finally, I got a good one. Uh, I think they're called KSG. Yeah, that's it. KSG Sellers. They're called. Who I've got this guitar from. Now, before I get into that, I just want to go into the black. Remember all the black that covers up the logo and everything? The easiest way of doing it, guys, is take your nut and screw off, keep them in order as you take them off, dead easy. Get a good peel on it, and it comes off pretty quick. A bit of polish, shine it up, happy days. 
Right, so that's out of it. All I've done to the guitar, obviously put my pick guard on. A new set of strings, which you always do, because I like the grade 11s. And that's about it. So now I'm going to play a little bit, see what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. <coughs> I don't normally do this, but they have been that good to me. What I'll do, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, and if you want a guitar, check these guys out because there's no messing about with them and they're really good. Anything you want, they'll do for you. And I can't believe the shipping still. So, all the best. I've had a few people ask me, so just go down to the end of the video, have a look, and you check them out yourself. And if you get sorted out, get back in touch with me and uh, tell me how you got on. And uh, please subscribe and like my videos, guys. It means the world to me, as always. Press that like button. <laughs>